In today's video, we're throwing ourselves headfirst into the craziest and hardest mile on the entire Appalachian Trail, as well as maybe the world's only arm leg workout. Whew, starting the hike off a little early today, not where I wanted. The road was closed. So far, haven't seen, oh, I guess that's what would stop me from getting through. A little bit of road construction, but hey, two miles extra hiking on nice flat surface. Shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, there's definitely the blockage. Yeah, it looks like the road got washed out from this river or they're just doing generic bridge maintenance. But yep, definitely would not have been able to make it across that in my car. Anyways, time to scramble across. So technically you can drive your car down here and park at the actual trailhead, but it is a little rough and narrow, so oh, that's up to you. I chose not to today. I think this bridge is actually the exact moment that I crossed from New Hampshire into Maine. No big signs or anything, kind of uneventful. We have finally started the actual trailhead. Rather flat and gradual as we start to hike our way towards the notch, just walking alongside that river. first of around four stream crossings as we make our way towards the knot.
when you come across little structures like this, everyone be sure to be extremely careful. Whether it be little bridges like this, makeshift ladders, if those things get wet, they have been what I have found to be the absolute slipperiest thing I have ever found hiking in Maine, New Hampshire, the White Mountains, anywhere on the East Coast. You will slip and fall. Be careful. There is absolutely no traction when those things get wet. Well, we've officially made it. We are now on the Appalachian Trail. So Mahusik Notch must be somewhere down here. I won't lie, I'm a little nervous. A little, maybe a little scared. I heard the other day a hiker said it took them three hours to get through this thing and they weren't filming. So I'm a little nervous for what's gonna happen, but it, it'll be an adventure. Let's go get to it. Descending into the notch. Well, I think I've officially found uh, the uh, main attraction for today. Here we go. I bet this is the notch. I wonder if I have to scramble in that cave over there. I guess we'll find out. Time to get extreme. Oh my goodness. And it starts out at an 11 out of 10 difficulty right off the bat. I actually think this final boulder scramble in the very first like boulder setup of the whole notch is one of the harder more technical ones that you have to face and I'm a tall person and I found it tricky and it's one of the first ones you have to tackle. You might be wondering why I left this in the video. This is the raw footage of me figuring out this scramble for the very first time. I literally did not know how to get through this one and you can see me slowly figure it out. Just taking a quick break here to admire the great view of the notch and see the cliff on the left. The notch where I need to go and then the cliff on the right. I gotta go straight through there. I love the tiny twinge of yellow that is going on here. It's making it look so much prettier. Huh, I'm feeling great. This is going good. It hasn't broken my spirit yet.
Well, this certainly looks a bit tricky. I'm all the way up here. I have to get over there. It's a big hole all over the place, looks like. I'll go from here to there to there and then sneak up the crack there. Mm. Oh, that was a tight squeeze. The first of many little cave squeezes to come. The rocks here were absolutely the hugest boulders I've had to hike around and through, much larger than ice gulch. It is just something else. And we're back here on day two at the exact point I left off yesterday. But shh, don't tell anybody. Let's keep this our little secret from the people who skip ahead in the video. Uh, the people I met yesterday said that the worst is yet to come. I didn't want to rush the hike. I wanted to get the best quality footage possible for you guys. And from the looks of it, I think they might be right. Uh, I'm not looking forward to what's up ahead. Let's find out. Sometimes hiking this trail, it kind of feels like a choose your own adventure. When you're hiking through, you can see where people walked because it's the rocks have kind of a brown color, you know, versus that. And then when you come to a spot like this, I see evidence that some people take the cave route if you want to have the cool scrambly cave. But I also see brown rocks and people taking this uh, scrambly canyon route. Choose wisely. I actually ran into quite a few Appalachian Trail through hikers as I made my way through the notch that day. I was very pleased.
Some of these caves are just absolutely mental. This is the craziest one yet. They want me to squeeze through there. Oh, here we go, approaching the largest, most ominous cave of the whole hike. This one was so freaking cool. A sad moment we're finally leaving the notch only like three or four hours after i entered it but hey who's counting time to go get crushed by the arm Here we are starting our main ascent of the Mahusik Arm. Maine really knows how to do it. You just did one of the hardest miles on the entire Appalachian Trail. How about 1,500 feet of elevation gain in less than a mile to reward yourself for making it through?
Around each new corner and new scramble I saw, I just kept laughing to myself. It was the only way to keep me sane. Don't forget to turn around and see that amazing notch you just spent so much time scrambling through. And welcome back. Now, who said we had to let all those Appalachian Trail through hikers have all the fun? That was the Mahusik Notch and Mahusik Arm located near Nuri, Maine in the Mahusik Range at the very far north end of the White Mountains. The Mahusik Notch and Arm are not on any prominent hiking list, but the Mahusik Notch is a legendary section of the Appalachian Trail where it holds the distinction of being the single toughest and hardest mile to hike on the entire 2,000 plus mile Appalachian Trail. And I think the footage just speaks for itself. The summit of the Mahusik Arm was 3,765 feet tall, and we followed a loop trail from New Hampshire over and through the Mahusik Notch and then up and over the arm that was around nine miles total. Do I really even need to do this section with you guys? You saw the footage. You know how much I was complaining. Uh, I'm not looking forward to what's up ahead. Is there really any other difficulty designation I can give this one besides uphill both ways? It took me four hours, granted I was filming, to get through that one mile of notch. Those boulders were so big, there were three different cave scrambles, maybe four, five, I don't even remember how many. And some of those were extremely technical, and I'm a rather tall guy. If someone was shorter than me, I could see it being even more difficult for them. Definitely hike it with a pal. It's a tough one. Uphill both ways, earned. Now, if you are so inspired to go tackle this trail yourself, first, definitely go hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And then check out the custom all trails map that I created with pictures and landmarks that I have linked in the description down below. Now, will I recommend this trail. It was a whole lot of fun and quite the challenge, especially the fact that you also have the ascent of the Mahusik arm right after the notch. It is kind of fun to scramble through the boulders, but definitely know what yourself getting into. This is not for the faint at heart, not for the average hiker. It is quite extreme. My hat's off to all those Appalachian Trail through hikers who sneak through here on their way north or south, all those miles to go. So I had fun. I would recommend it for those who really want a challenge, but for the average person, I'd say probably skip this one. But hey, that's just my opinion. Now go get hiking.